a supporter of it. Yeah. Right. So, so my kind of alternative was a kind of a basic land strategy. Okay. So say, for instance, if you have a hectare of land and you have an edible food forest on it, mm -hmm. then you could support a family of four to six on it. So you're providing the housing, you know, the mm -hmm. basic needs, you know, mm -hmm. and the food mm -hmm. and the water mm -hmm. and the energy because uh, you can coppice wood right. know, yep. and that, that kind of stuff and have solar panels. Do you have a question? Yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, I was wondering what your um, what you think of, of the basic land idea, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, because it's a okay, basically an example of sustainable, you know, zero carbon footprint yep. living. Yeah. Great. So, great question. So, one thing that I've been a big supporter of, the Green Party's been a big supporter of, is um, making more land affordable for smaller scale agricultural production. There's a lot of young people in particular who want to go into agriculture, into farming, but they can't access the land because they can't afford it. So I've been, actually, before I got into politics and the subsequent was involved in setting up what we were calling agricultural condominiums, which we were essentially looking at taking public lands, particularly conservation lands, and making them available for small plot agriculture that could actually deliver on uh, uh, many aspects of the idea that you just articulated and the province has the ability to do that because most of that public land is owned by the provincial government. Thank yeah. you. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Teresa. Hi. Um, now, obviously you've run in more than one provincial election yes. before you. I did. It took a lot of work. <laughs>